coming on in here, first thing that you'll see uh, walking into my space is my uh, Centennial Ludwig kit. Uh, it's the same size and dimensions as the one John Bonham used, uh, except I do not use the 18 inch floor tom. Uh, and honestly, the only reason I don't is because when I'm playing gigs downtown, I uh, hate packing it up and bringing it with me. And so kind of trying to, uh, uh, less is more, right? Kind of that New York style uh, approach to hauling your drums around the city. Uh, yeah, the 18 inch uh, floor tom sounds amazing, but I don't really feel like dragging it around. Uh, I also use Zildjian uh, Z3 cymbals. Uh, they were made really popular back in the 70s. Uh, and the reason I use Z3s is because they are thick and heavy as all hell. Uh, I have broken lots of cymbals in my day. And uh, I've had these for years now and I've not broken them. And so I figured if uh, heavy hitters back in the 70s can use them, they'll work for me. Uh, back behind my kit there, you can see all my uh, cable management. Uh, you'll also see I've got some art going on back there. Uh, since I spend a lot of time in front of my computer here, being able to see my art out of my periphery is always uh, something nice to have. So uh, coming into the room here, uh, you'll see one of the first things I got here is my vocal mic. Uh, even though I'm a drummer, I do quite a bit of uh, guitar playing as well. And down there under my standing desk, you can see my uh, Boss Acoustic amp there. Uh, let's see here. Pretty much what you're seeing over here is my system. Uh, I do uh, use uh, the uh, Blue uh, Yeti mic. Uh, I do teach classes at the University of New Mexico, and so uh, I need a good, uh, decent vocal mic just for broadcasting style stuff. And so uh, when I'm standing over here teaching, uh, you can see I got my uh, extra third little screen up here so I can see my PowerPoints. Uh, and still be able to look directly at my students or if I'm giving workshops online or whatever the case may be. Uh, so as you can see, as a home studio setup, pretty small, right? I got a, a, a tiny little a Kai MPX Mini over there. Uh, I do all my keyboard work out with. Uh, I don't need some big 88 key thing. I can only play one handed anyway. So having a small system works perfect for me. Uh, so over here, I got my, uh, basically my home studio uh, vocal mic system. I got a Shure SM7B. Uh, set up with a CAD, uh, I don't even know the model number of this thing, uh, set a uh, CAD uh, vocal deflector uh, set up on just a simple tripod mic stand. And so anytime I'm doing vocals, I'm right next to my system here. And so I can just go ahead and, uh, you know, sing what I got to sing. Uh, down here under my stool, taking advantage of every space possible is my air filter. Uh, and then, of course, my uh, uh, stool for playing guitar. I got a small PA uh, monitor over here for whenever I'm jamming down in my basement. Uh, I got a Line 6 guitar amp over here. Uh, that little uh, white circle thing is my space heater. And so really you got to take advantage of every space that you got, right? And so on this wall here behind me, um, which is all my research books, uh, things that I use for uh, citations when I'm writing my papers and what have you, uh, being able to have every little space taken advantage of in a small room is pretty essential. And so taking a look over here, uh, the reason that I have this TV set up uh, as it is, uh, is because when I'm doing a lot of lecturing, uh, teaching class, giving a workshop, whatever the case may be, uh, usually what I will also do if I don't want to be right in front of my system uh, is to stand over here and play my PowerPoint uh, and then have the Zoom folks on my computer over there. So it kind of sound looks like I'm talking to an audience. And so, you know, I'll put my webcam something like this and I'll be able to, uh, you know, talk to the lecturer, be able to see the students, have something that feels a little bit more real in times of COVID, right? And so essentially, uh, that's the home studio, right? Taking advantage of every little space. So with that, uh, I will go ahead and sign off here. But uh, again, I am Jordan O. James. Uh, welcome to Broadcasts from the Bunker. Thanks for your time.